somebody told me my wig reviews are not serious enough for them. I'm sorry, Mr. Peabody. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by Kalai Your Hair. They sent me this unit to try for you guys. It is also Sip and Slay. Your girl got her mug today. Okay, hey, wig babe. But there's no drink in my cup because, you know, I got my water today. Your girl is behind. Let me catch up. Mm. Don't worry about me, Brenda, okay? I'm trying to get my water on. Hush, Brenda, hush. But anywho, y'all see how I'm coming today, huh? If you want to see how I got this unit from A to Slay, make sure you stay tuned for that. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I talk fast because people got to see me, okay? I got to show. Out. Also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Have you drank your water today? I gotta catch up. Okay, so like I said, this unit comes from Kalai Hair. All the specs in my unit are right here on the screen, so if you wanna check it out, you can. I need to first wipe off my glasses. I got mosquito dust all over them joints. Mm -mm. So this is the kinky edge version of the Bye Bye Knots Yaki version that I did a couple months ago. And I really like that wig. That is one of my favorite looks from Kalai. But they do have the kinky edge version. Initially, I was like, I don't want all that. But if you can see, they actually didn't do too much. They kept it real natural around the hairline. So I'm really excited to try this. I don't even think I gotta blow dry this out. Let me get my makeup real quick. I'm gonna use my Black Radiant Soft Focus Powder in the color Creamy Bronze to tint my lace. Even though this does have the Bye Bye Knots, when it comes to these fast fashion wigs, they're not bleaching too much. You will still need to go in and tint the lace to your liking. I'm gonna pay close attention to the edges of the lace just to make sure it's gonna blend down for me. Because I'm using powder, some of the powder will get on the hair so I just gotta dust it off a little bit here we go focus on my hand not my hairline sheesh all right here we go why y'all not putting the bands in the wig no more what y'all doing in that warehouse huh I need you to put the bands in the wig so I make sure it's in there correctly it does come with two slots to put your band in I'm gonna use the second slot closest to the back of the unit just to make sure she's gonna sit properly on my ears now before I put this on my head I need to get um some grease on my hairline because my hair is a little dry uh oh wait a minute let me not waste my product you know I'm spray it down with my Jamaican black castor oil water. Can't be having my hair pulling under my wig cap. The wig caps that I use now are not super tight. They're like a wave cap material and they're loose around my hairline so it's not gonna be pulling on my edges. So that's why I like these wig caps. Does this wig stink? She has a slight chemical smell to her, but not like as strong as their curly wigs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my little clink clink, a little home bath. I don't have any more dry shampoo because I didn't go shopping yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my hair freshener. Pat it in. My wig does have the elastic straps in the back. I'm going to leave it for now. And if I need to detach them, I will. Let's see if I can get it over my head. I do have the comb in the back, so if I need to use that, I will. I don't like that hairline, only because of how they cut the lace off. It's a little wavy, but y'all could have done a little better than that. I may have to spray it down because of how this is looking. Dang it, Kalai. Dang it, dang it, dang it. You were this close, but it's all right. You know we're gonna fix it. Let me brush it back. Normally I would go in and blow dry the hairline, but I don't think I need to. The previous yakky texture that I did, it definitely felt yakky. This feels like a light yakky. It doesn't feel as textured as the other one. I don't know if they put product on it, um, but it does feel like a more sleeked out version. That may be good or bad, depending on how you like your wigs to feel. Get my claw clip. Look, we almost done with the install. Oh, let me show y'all. I'm gonna use my Nairobi mousse to lay down my wig. This is a mold, not a hold. I tell y'all this every time and people still be telling me their wig is lifting. Spray it down, Claudine. I don't say this stuff for fun. Listen, somebody told me my wig reviews are not serious enough for them. I'm sorry, Mr. Peabody. <laughs> If I just sit on here and put on a wig with no talking, I feel like it'll be boring. So this is to help y'all get to know me. Know my personality. Where my brush? Now I know I, I don't want that like that. Let's try to swoop and swish what we can. I'm gonna brush it back, bring that down. Kind of mirror it with my natural hairline. I feel like it's cutting back on my hair. It's not giving me enough forehead coverage. Y'all know my forehead is big. If I need to spray it down, then I will. They did send me a band. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kalai. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this down, do my makeup, and then we'll come back 
and style of the week. I may do a little a little curling. I shouldn't have that much to straighten, to be honest. Wait a minute. Let's see if we got any shedding. No tangles. I do have some shedding though. The hair is not like super thick, but it's a nice density for kalai. So if you're looking for a super thick unit, get a kinky straight. I'm gonna use my Timo brush. I'm gonna brush it through, get them bumps out. Can I turn it up? Am I getting shedding still? Yep. Sure is. There's not really any humpiness on the top, so that's always good. I feel like they slipped out this hair a little bit um, before they sent it to me. Is that why you didn't put the band in? Okay, you was tired. Now, when it comes to Kalai hair, I tell y'all all the time, I consider them to be a fast fashion brand, but they've been stepping it up. You're not gonna get a heavy pluck hairline or deep bleach knots, but they do give you a little something to get you started, especially for the beginner girls who are on a budget. Okay, or just everybody. I like a budget, personally. Let me scooch up a little bit. I feel like I'm sunk down in my chair. So it's gonna give me the look for less I'm gonna get it come on healthy hair there are some layers in my units so I will be using that to my advantage to curl up the wig let me turn on my curler here put on about 20 the parting space is looking pretty natural this is kawaii I think the price is like 142 for this one with the discount now I don't know how long that will last so if you want to go ahead and get the deals now I suggest you do that curl the ends I got my hairspray hold it hold it that's not even close to where I wanted to spray. Why does it smell like that? Is that the hair smelling like that? Please don't melt, please don't melt. Let me do in between 15 and 20. Let's just do it like that, I don't care. I should've used my big barrel joint, but I didn't feel like leaning over and getting it. <laughs> I told y'all, I am a lazy wig wearer. I don't got time to be sitting here all day perfecting nothing. Look, you better be happy with this. I barely wanna do that. Where are those clips at? Let me just clip this up really quick. Make sure my hairline gonna sit right. Moment of truth. Not bad, but not exactly what I want. Spray some of that back. Yeah, I'm gonna spray it down just to make sure this is gonna sit how I want it. Just move this down a bit. Yeah, I know I got a lot of forehead real estate. I can do that. I'm gonna use my HML spray. I'm gonna brush the hairs where I need them to go before it starts to set. Blow dryer on cool and high. Comb this back. I'm gonna comb out the curls. I think I want a side part. Take these clips off so I can fix my front. I'm gonna bump this up. The track is over here. So it gives me a good amount of space for a deep side part. Well, that's track right there. So let me cover that up. Let me blow dry this over. Should I cut this a little bit? Let me see first. Nope, 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 nope. Why is it itching? Lay those flyaways down. Ooh, it's in my mouth. It's in my mouth. I need to put my glasses over top the wig. Make sure I blend it correctly. That's a track. Let me push that down. Use a little bit of my spray on my brush. This is all just me perfecting the look that I want for my wig. You don't gotta do all this, okay? Style the wig for you. Just brush this over like this. Comb it out. I'm use a little bit of my contour around the hairline. Using a Juvia's Place foundation stick in the color Katsina. Tap some on the paper, then go around the hairline like so. Tune it up. And just to make sure it's not too dark, I'm use my foundation brush just to kind of blend that all together with my forehead as well. And that is it. That is all. Okay, y'all, so here is the final look. Let me come up close so y'all can see this hairline. Did she do what she needed to do? I think so. This one's a little off. Let me fix that. The more I look at it, the more I like it. However, I do feel like the non-kinky edge version will be better for beginners if you don't really know how to do this. Now, you can definitely just put this wig on out the pack and brush the hairline back and just go. You don't have to do any of this, but y'all know I like my hairlines to look as natural for me as possible. I do wish they didn't cut as much lace off just because how this hairline was looking, it gave it a very straight across appearance. I'm still getting shedding on my wig, Kalai. I don't, I don't really like that, but I do feel like there's something on this hair. I don't know what you put on it, Kalai, but it does feel a lot sleeker because it's not really given like a thick yakky. Like I said, it's given a light yakky. I also think that it's messing with the curl of the unit. Like it's not allowing the hair to stay curled, even with the hairspray. Or maybe it's getting hot. I mean, look at me, so. <laughs> Hold up. I feel like a piece of my track is showing. Let me use a little bit of my 
powder. Try to camouflage that a bit. Use your products. But that's all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to Kalati Hair for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link, my specs, and a coupon code for this unit down below. So if you guys want to check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.